Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. I'm really excited about this series of growing celery indoors. As a result of the pandemic I'm trying to determine how I could push the envelope to determine how well certain foods do in an indoor environment. As you can see here this celery is the second generation celery. Now, I grew the first generation from a celery base, as you can see here. And if you look at the picture above, I harvested two beautiful celery stalks. It can be done. And oh my goodness, the celery was absolutely delicious. And so this is the second generation. It is, I planted this November of 2020. And look at it it's beautiful it is growing under a grow light because I don't get enough sunlight for growing celery the way you get started is you take a celery base and you cut it where you can see the bottom of the base and you can see I'm already getting roots and you just put it in water and it will actually start growing while it's in water and this one is from a organic store-bought celery. So it's just super simple. You can see how simple it is. And you wanna make sure you change the water daily because the water will get cloudy and you don't want bacteria to get in it. So I actually um, change the water daily. Now I wanna show you one that's been in here for a while and you can see the roots on it and I think it's got enough roots one thing I do want to caution you on as you root the celery base you'll notice that the outside of that base starts deteriorating so over time you're going to be pulling the out part of this base just so it doesn't get um, real uh, soggy and starts contaminating the water so you can see right here if I was still trying to root this I would pull this off and I, you can see where I have pulled this off over time look how small it is compared to this one because I wanted to make sure I kept the water clean and I didn't want the base to start deteriorating and um, so I just wanted to show, uh, share that tip with you because this is what typically happens when you're trying to keep the base clean as it's trying to get roots. And it does take time to root. Look, look how much gr uh, leaf growth I have on this, trying to get this celery base to root. And so in order to keep it clean, I had to consistently peel the outer part of the base when it gets like this. So just wanted to share that with you. So now this is ready to be planted. So I'm going to plant it in this particular container. And as you can see, I already have a moist soil. And potting soil organic potting soil and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna set it down in here like this just like that and I need to probably make this hole just a little bigger and then I'm just gonna cover it like this see I'm just gonna cover it like that And again, the soil is already moist. I wanted to make sure that the soil was evenly moist. That's the reason why I didn't want to water after I put it in dry soil because celery loves moist soil. And I didn't want the soil to be uneven. So I worked this soil prior to planting this 
so that when it got planted, it's planted in moist soil, moist soil. So there you have it, another celery plant being re, re I'm regrowing it from a store-bought organic celery base that looks like this. So this is a first generation from the celery harvest that you'll see in the uh, photo that I'm growing indoors. Second generation, November 2020. It'll be interesting to see how well this grows indoors through April or May. So then I will go ahead and tag this as January of 2021 to determine how well it would grow indoors. More than likely, it could end up being put outdoors for the final harvest. And then I'm starting another one, which the roots are already starting to come through. And this has been in the water for about three weeks. I'm going to continue with a series of growing celery indoors. I'm gonna keep you updated throughout the process and see which one does better. The second generation from my first harvest, this will do well outdoors because I actually grew two celery stalks. And you'll see, the um, if you look at the tag above, you'll see my updates on the growth as well as the harvest. This again is an experiment to determine if you had to grow food indoors. Would you be able to grow celery indoors? What are the pros and cons? What are some of the course corrections I had to make? And is it possible? So stay tuned for the second episode of where the, where, where, where the growth is on this one, this one, as well as this one. Stay tuned.